Hey guys. Well, today I'm going to try another kitchen experiment. Um, one of my viewers, I think it's Joy K5, she sent me the recipe for Cincinnati chili. I think it was on my cinnamon rolls uh, video, and we were talking about chilies. And I had mentioned that the old farmer put cinnamon instead of chili powder in the chili at home, and even the dog wouldn't eat it. So, which he probably put a lot of chill, uh, cinnamon in. So anyway, she there was some talk in the comments about Cincinnati chili. I didn't know what it was. So she sent me the recipe. Now, I'm going to make a very small batch of it. That way, if we don't like it, they're not out much. Uh, so actually, what I'm doing is I'm making one-fourth of the recipe. Basically, because I just happen to have a uh, half a pound of hamburger, and it calls for two hamburger, pounds of hamburger. So, what we start out with is uh, one cup of boiling water in a pot. And when the water comes to a boil, you put in the one pound, well, it will be a half a pound of hamburger. You don't pre-cook it. Um, that I might have a hard time with, but there is a way to get that fat off. That's part of the cooking process because when people don't drain the fat off their hamburger when they're cooking, I, <laughs> I that's me. A lot of people say that's where the flavor is, but I, I don't like all that extra fat. So, but part of this recipe does call for removing that. So, let's, I'm going to get the water boiling. And um, while it's boiling, I'll get the hamburger ready to go in. And I'll also show you the other ingredients that I have. For starters, this recipe is very specific on the, um, the amount of the spices. And um, by doing it one-fourth, it calls for, um, I'm going to use three peppercorns, whole peppercorns, two, um, yes, two allspice berries, I don't even know if you can see them, and two cloves. And since there's so few, um, they're not going to work very well in my coffee grinder, so I'm going to grind them up by hand. Then I will also be adding, uh, the renter is here feeding cattle and our dog is just having a fit. Kind of have a mess of my spices, but um, again, this is one-fourth the recipe. I've got... I have to read it here. One fourth teaspoon of ground cumin, one half teaspoon of ground cinnamon, buried underneath there is one half teaspoon of salt, and then I grated the chocolate on here. Um, what I'm using is, this is one eighth ounce of the unsweetened chocolate. And I got the smallest bay leaf I could find because it called for one large bay leaf. So I got the smallest one I can find. So these are the spices that you put in. And I'm going to get the water going and I'll add the other stuff before I get the spices in. Okay, you bring the water to a boil. Then you put the hamburger in and kind of break it up. Bring it back to a simmer. And when it comes back to a simmer, you start adding your ingredients. Okay, for a fourth, it calls for half of one medium onion, and I've got a little bit here, but I am going to use my dehydrated onion. So I'm going to put that in. And then it calls for five to six garlic cloves crushed. So what I did for... Um, to make that a fourth is I got a large clove and I've got it chopped up and crushed. Then, um, it, oh, it calls for a 15 ounce can of tomato sauce. I don't have any tomato sauce. I'm not gonna go to the store and buy tomato sauce, but I do have tomato paste. So I added an extra half a cup of water and I'm just going to add a dollop of the tomato paste. That might make a difference. I don't know. And then um, two tablespoons of cider vinegar, which means I'll be using a half a tablespoon, which I happen to have one of those. And 
in, then one tablespoon of, I've heard I pronounce it weird, Worcestershire sauce. Um, since it calls for a, one tablespoon, I'll be using a fourth of a tablespoon, so I'll just use my half tablespoon here and wing it. All right, then this is where you put all those spices in. Win. Okay, now you stir this, mix this up well, and um, let it simmer for hmm, two hours, I think it said. Yeah, simmer for two and a half hours, and then you chill it overnight, and that's how you get the um, fat taken off. Oops, I almost forgot, guys. It calls for one and a half teaspoons of ground red pepper. I'm not gonna put the red pepper in, just because I'm not. Well, it's the next morning. I don't suppose you can see this very well. But as it turned out, I had bought lean hamburger, so thankfully there's no extra fat in here that I would skim off. And this sat in the refrigerator overnight. I've got spaghetti going here. Because apparently that's how you eat it. Um, so I'm going to heat this up. The spaghetti's almost done. And I've got chopped onion and grated cheese. And there's a name for it. I'll have to look it up. Well, I looked up that name. That This is a tough one, guys. So, if you serve Cincinnati chili over spaghetti, it's called two-way. Then if you add spaghetti, chili, chopped onions, it's called three-way. But we're going to do four-way. Because I'm going to have spaghetti, chili, grated cheese, and chopped onions. Now, I'm going to be honest with you last night, guys. When this was starting to cook, it did not smell good. I was not impressed, and I was a little worried. It smells really good today. So, I'll be honest, and I'll tell you how I feel about it. Okay, guys. There it is. We're going to sit down, have lunch, and I'll be back and let you know what we think. This is four-way spaghetti, Cincinnati chili, cheese, and chopped onion. Okay, guys. I have an apology, Joy K5. Wow, that stuff's good. I had uh, told Joy K5 that um, she was telling me about Cincinnati chili. And I had mentioned to her that the old farmer put chili or cinnamon in our chili instead of chili powder. Well, first of all, he probably used a lot because I use a lot of chili powder. So he probably used a lot and nobody would eat it. Um, even the dog wouldn't eat it. And wow, this Cincinnati chili recipe that Joy K5 sent me the recipe for, it's good. It's really good. Now, as you saw, I only used a half a pound of ground beef. I did use lean ground beef. And a couple of the things that the recipe did say was do not pre-brown your hamburger, cook it in the boiling water. And I think the recipe said something like, trust us on this one. And then, um, Joy K5 also told me, she said, make sure you use apple cider vinegar. Don't use um, white vinegar. And it does make all the difference. And I followed the recipe she sent me to a tea, with the exception of the red peppers. Um, we're big babies, so we, we can't stand much spice. So anyway, I was just afraid to use that. But it was really, really good. Really good. So thank you. Joy K5 for your recipe. It was good. Um, I have a question though. Others have said that when they make it, they make very large batches. What do you do with the leftovers? I would be hesitant to can it because when you use, um, 
when you can spices, some of them have a tendency to kind of go wonky, I guess you'd say, but the, the flavor changes. And same with garlic. They say you really shouldn't use a lot of garlic if you're going to can. Now, I do. It doesn't seem to do anything different for me, but you watch. Next time, it'll be bad. But anyway, Cincinnati chili, it's good. It does. It is time consuming because the deal is you want to make sure you need to let the flavors meld overnight. And I think anybody that does any cooking knows that, that if you're gonna cook with spices, you want the flavors to come together and have time. You simmer them, and then you refrigerate them and reheat them, and, and that's a pretty common uh, thing that you learn in cooking, is the flavors get better. But it was good, it was good. So, thanks, Joy. All right, guys, this might be one of my last videos for a while. We're getting ready to go spend some time with the grandson. I doubt I'll do any uh, YouTube videoing. I'm definitely not going to put the baby on YouTube. And um, I don't know how my son and his wife feel about me farming in, or video in the area or their place. And then when we get back, we're going to quickly um, pack and we're going to head to Arizona. That's the plan. So, all right, guys. Um, don't know when I'll see you again, but it's been a lot of fun. Now, my videos are delayed. So, by the time this comes up, we may already be in Arizona. And it, I don't delay them on purpose out of fear or safety or whatever the reasons are. They're delayed because typically I'll do... Um, three, four, five projects in one day, and then just do different videos. So, guys, thanks for being here. This has been fun.